So this video is going to be about ionic bonds. So before we start talking about ionic bonds, I'm going to review electronegativity really quick. So electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to draw electrons towards itself in a chemical bond. And we know that electronegativity is going to increase going up and to the right on the periodic table, with fluorine being the most electronegative atom. So an ionic bond is going to be a bond between um, two atoms with very different electronegativities, such as a nonmetal and a metal. So an example of this that's very important in biological systems is sodium chloride, which is um, salt. So the way that this bond is actually formed is sodium has one valence electron and chlorine has seven. So the electronegativity for chlorine, since it's found about right here on the periodic table, is going to be much higher than the electronegativity for sodium. So that means that chlorine is going to want to take sodium's electron from it. So sodium is more than happy to let chlorine have that electron. And so now chlorine has one extra electron than it did before, which means that chlorine now has a negative charge. And sodium has one less electron than it did before, which means that sodium now has a positive charge. So now we also know that opposites attract. So positive and negative charges are going to be attracted to one another. So these charges are going to start to interact. And that interaction is what's going to bring this molecule together and keep it stable in solution. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.